Well, everybody, welcome once again to Lightning TV. So it was back to Saturday action last weekend at the Milton Keynes Arena. Sheffield Steelers were once again the visitors in town. Let's go and check out the highlights. And it'll be Matt Thompson, the official to drop the puck, get this game underway. Past seven on a Saturday night. It's game time. Wallace. Got Phillips for company. Gives it to Phillips. And here comes Lewis Hook. Vero Paul. Gives it to Doucette. That is Vero Paul. That is right hand side. Game Doucette. And Lightning are on the board. 6.44 to go in this first period. It's 1-0 Lightning. He'll come all the way back to Phillips. He'll look to go centre ice and give Lightning once more some passing options. Steelers, of course, trying to get into these passing lanes. Vero Paul going high. King. Phillips. King again. No score! Kevin King from the hash marks. Takes the pass from Phillips one time. Beats Mustakovs down low. It's 2 0 Lightning. It's a power play goal, of course. Mealy there down the right hand side. Once again, comes around the boards and out of clear the zone. And give Lightning an opportunity to build again and get themselves into back in a bit of shape. Great shot, great pass. Liam Kirk. Play come in from the right hand side. Caught Liam Kirk pretty much on his own. He didn't really have a great deal to do there. But a great shot. It's a 2 1 game. You see, just pick up the puck on his right hand side and Lightning trying to get a bit of shape. And over it comes to Liam Kirk and uses the man as a screen and beats Parcel. On his right hand side, the one goal game, 12.35 to go in this second period. It's lining two, Sheffield one. Elsa Franklin, decent music in our barn. Well, just as they start playing Zorba the Greek. But yeah, it's not bad music. DJ Bertie does a great job. Oh, and that's another goal for Steelers. Shot came in from the left hand side. Partial lost sight of that and just dropped it. And that was a gift. An absolute gift. Yeah. Hook. Hook once again. Pompey down on the blue line. Vero Paul waits over on this right hand side. All Sheffield want to do is get into these passing lanes. It comes across to Vero Paul. He'll look to take the shot and it goes wide into the left hand side of Mustakov's goal. Hook again. Shot comes in, that's the goal! Lewis Hook! Ben Foster it was, provide the screen in front of Mustakos. But it's a power play goal, Lightning take the lead, it's 3-2. Four minutes remaining of this second period, I'll bring Steelers back to full strength of course. Look at that, you get a, a Robbie Williams track in an ice rink and everybody can sing all of a sudden. Kirsten Smith, come on Steelers, you can do it boys. And if you look at the timekeeper's bench. Now that is sadness right there. This is Robbie Williams. Christine Smith, I think I've already said that. Simon Bowen, yes hooky, good lad. So, there's always one that's out of time. And it's Dave. Isaacson. 20 seconds now for Sheffield go back to full strength. Hudson. King. 10 seconds. Shot comes in! Kevin King! Nine seconds remaining on the power play. Kevin King makes it a two goal game. 7.43 remaining. 
in this third period. It's lining for Sheffield Steelers two, another power play goal. Lightning fans really making some noise now. MKO Barmy Army ringing around this arena. Oh, that's going to be a foot race, that'll be Francis Vero Paul. He scores the engineer goal! Milton Keynes lining five! Sheffield Steelers two! And that's it! With less than 10 seconds to go, he's worked hard all game. It was just pressure. Puck comes out, slightly miscontrolled. Very Paul, once you get him going, catches up. Empty net goal. It's 5 2 Lightning. So a fantastic 5-2 win for Lightning on the night. Francis Vero Paul, of course, getting that empty netter right at the very end. Now after the game, I caught up with Lightning defenseman James Griffin to get his thoughts. So James, 5-2 win over Sheffield. Twice you've beaten them in this barn uh, this season. That was a good night. Yeah, it's been a great night tonight. Uh, obviously, we needed that win. It's been quite a, it's been quite a hard month, but yeah, it's just awesome to beat Sheffield. Obviously, one of the big teams. We've got a new netminder coming in as well. It literally lands in the country three hours before face-off. And he didn't look out of place. He you know, he kept you in the game. Yeah, Henry was awesome tonight. Uh, rebounds a lot. Obviously, the second one, I guess he wants back. But no, he played really well tonight, I thought. Really well. It, it's a big help to have a good goal at the back. Well, Meeks, obviously. Amazing crowd here tonight. And, and Henry got a really brilliant welcome, especially at the end when, they, you know, when you guys were walking around celebrating. I mean, you could see what it meant to him celebrating at the end of that game. Yeah, well, the yeah, MK fans always, you know, let everyone ho like feel homely. Um, probably the best crowd we've had all year. You know, I, was, I looked up at the crowd and it was rammed at the back. People can't see. So, yeah, it was just awesome tonight. So, you've got Sheffield coming into town. What's the mindset? Bearing in mind you've had a few difficulties over the last couple of weeks. You're missing a couple of key players. What's the mindset in the change room prior to face-off? The main thing is to play 60 minutes of hockey. And that's it. Just 60 minutes of hockey, do your own role and just look after the guy next to you and then we're fine. And then if we do that every game, you know, we're winning hockey games. So you look like you're all adaptable out there tonight as well. You, you know, you took the penalties, but the one thing that you, you were doing tonight was covering, protecting the house, protecting the netminder. Oh yeah, obviously, if we play defense first, always defense, well, that's my, my, I'm a defenseman, so yeah. We play defense first and then attack then, take our chances as we did. Guys, you know, do took a great goal first one. So yeah, hooky, another great goal. So yeah, it's just awesome. That's going to give Lewis Hook a lot of confidence in there because he's been a bit of a barren spell, but he hasn't been playing badly. But that's going to give him a lot of confidence. Oh, Hooky was flying tonight. <laughs> Hooky was absolutely flying. So yeah, it's nice to see. It's nice to see Lewis skate pretty fast all the time. <laughs> and it was all written on everybody's faces when you skated off tonight. But you know, bring, coming back to earth with a bump, I guess you got a tough road trip to Guildford tomorrow. That's going to be another toughie. Yeah, we owe the Flames a lot of games. So I, we, I, I think we're better than the Flames. We just have to play another 60 minutes, play defense, and. Just pick up Akkad, who won tees all the time, you know. Their one time is power play, stay out of the box. Another thing, we stay out of the box tonight. Obviously, we had a few, but, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We're not we're not, not the Panthers. We always get penalties, so. Brilliant. Well, James, thanks for always talking to us. Do appreciate it. Good luck on the road tomorrow, Guildford, and back here on Wednesday night against Manchester. Thank you very much. Thank you. So many, many thanks to James for taking the time to talk to us after the game. Don't forget, it's a midweek game this week. Wednesday night, Manchester Storm are the visitors to the Milton Keynes Arena. It's a 7.45 face-off. You can call the box office or go on the Lightning website to find out more details. We'll see you there.